The AutoBit brought arcade sounds to the recording studio. Our latest pedal, the AutoBit Junior, brings arcade sounds to your pedal board, along with its extremely musical stutter and sequencer effects. The heart of the AutoBit Junior and its retro arcade sound is its bit crusher section, which has stereo bit crushing, a stereo low pass ladder filter, and stereo sample rate reduction. The bit crusher also features a stereo gate that keeps your signal clean as you crush your guitar below 8 bits. Let's listen to how these parameters affect a clean guitar. <laughs> The AutoBit Junior has a six-step sequencer, which can be assigned to sequence pitch, filter frequency, and sample rate. Use Tap Tempo to set the overall speed of the sequence, and the Sequencer Malt knob to multiply the tempo by a fixed amount. The Sequencer knob can disengage the sequence, as well as set how many times the sequence repeats after it detects a pick attack. By holding the Alt button, each knob is used to set the value of its corresponding sequence step. These controls also give you the ability to either skip or mute the step if the knob is set to min or max. I'm routing the AutoBit Junior through our Mercury 7 reverb pedal and recording that signal directly into a pair of our 440 mic preamps. Let's start with the sequencer set to modify the pitch of my guitar. When selecting the sequencer to control sample rate, the AutoBit Junior produces a grittier, more chaotic sound. When the sequencer is set to control the filter frequency, the AutoBit Junior produces the classic percolating filter sound from a modular synth. Here I'm also setting the bit depth to 7 bits before the filter is applied. Adding an expression pedal gives you wide-ranging control over every parameter in the AutoBit Junior. After connecting the expression pedal, move it to its minimum position and set all of the knobs, including the second layer sequencer knobs, to your desired sound. Next, move the expression pedal to max and make any changes to the sound that you would like. Now, by moving the pedal from min to max, you're morphing between those two sounds. For this next clip, I set the expression pedal to only change the filter control. The AutoBit Junior's stutter creates chopped copies and fast repeats of your guitar for the glitchy sound made famous by Max Headroom. The stutter control allows you to turn on the stutter and choose from 22 different stutter settings that fall into three speed groups, full speed, double speed, and half speed. The tap tempo switch sets the time it takes between what you play and when the stutter starts. And finally, by holding tap tempo, you can freeze the current stutter indefinitely. In this clip, I'll go through a couple of stutter settings at each speed and then end by freezing the buffer.
The AutoBit Junior works on other instruments as well, and lets you choose between guitar and synth level settings to keep louder instruments from clipping. It works especially well on drum machines. Here I'll dirty up and add stutter to a drum machine from the 70s. <laughs> 